Hey everyone, it's Chelsea from Painted Layer Studio, PDF sewing patterns and tutorials. In this video, we're gonna learn how to make a bathing suit. So it's getting warmer and it's that time of year to start thinking about sewing a bathing suit. If you know how to sew, this is such a great opportunity to make your own and it's a lot easier than you might think. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you don't need a lot of special equipment to make this bathing suit. All you're gonna need is some swimwear elastic and then some swimwear fabric. This is usually a four-way stretch Lycra swimsuit fabric and you can find it at most fabric stores. So go ahead and cut out your pieces with a rotary cutter and mat. Then you want to take the two front pieces and put them on top of the back piece and go ahead and clip the side seams. Now you should have a lining and an outer piece that looks like this. And we're gonna take our lining piece and put it on top of our outer piece with the right sides together. And then we're just gonna add some pins in a perpendicular fashion all the way around the outside edge. And then go ahead and serge your pieces together. Now you wanna add your swimwear elastic to the top. So we're gonna put it around the bottom edge and then around the neckline and the inner straps here. So go ahead and put your elastic on top of the swimsuit and then just go ahead and serge on top in place. Once you have attached the elastic, it should look like this. Now we're going to make the straps reversible. So what you wanna do is grab a seam ripper and just rip about one inch from the top here. Then go ahead and try the top on and take your disappearing ink pen and just mark where you want the straps to be so that they're a good length. I just folded the swimsuit in half here and made sure that they're even on both sides. Then go ahead and cut off the excess length of the strap, leaving a 1 4th inch seam allowance at the top. Then place your straps right sides together. Add a couple pins or clips. Now you can see we have a gap in the straps and we wanna close that up. So go ahead and pull the straps inside out so that you find the gap there. Then we're just gonna close this gap and we're gonna be careful not to touch the inside with the sewing machine. And then when you pull your straps back out, you have a wonderful reversible strap. Now let's see how to make the bottoms. So you wanna take your pieces and put them right sides together, and then go ahead and serge along the bottom, but in the lining piece here, add about a two inch gap so that you can turn your work. Place your pieces right sides together, and then go ahead and clip along the leg holes. Then we can serge the lining piece to the outer piece. Then go ahead and add some swimwear elastic to the leg holes as well. Then 
Now fold down the top of the fabric and align the fabric so that your hip pieces are touching with the lining side and outer side, right sides together. And then we're just gonna clip this into place and then go ahead and serge the hip seams together. Now you can see all we have left to do is the waistband. Go ahead and put your hand through that hole that you left at the bottom lining. And you wanna grab the outer and the lining piece along the top edge. Go ahead and pull that out through the hole. And try to line up the pieces so that right sides are together of the waist. And then just add a pin. And then you just wanna keep adding pins or clips and keep pulling the fabric out and just keep adding. You'll see that it makes kind of a tube shape and there's clips on the inside and clips on the outside. So take it to your serger and carefully serge the waistband pieces together, right side together. And just keep pulling the fabric out of that hole so that you can get all the way around the waistband. And once you've done that, you have the waist completed and the suit is reversible. So all you have to do left is close up the gaps. And to do that, we're gonna use a ladder stitch. So go ahead and thread a hand needle with a matching color thread. Then you're gonna start from the inside and pull the needle up through the top. And then go back down to the bottom and you're gonna take just a little piece of the fabric with your needle and then go back up to the top and do the same thing. And then go back to the bottom and do the same thing. And you just wanna repeat this pattern going up and down, just taking a little piece of fabric until you get all the way to the end of the gap. And you can see here that the thread kind of makes a ladder shape and that's where it gets the name of the ladder stitch. So you can go ahead and pull the thread and then that will bring the pieces of fabric together and close your gap. Then to finish, just go ahead and make a knot here. Then insert your needle through the seam and that will bury the thread. And once you use this method to sew up the gaps in the swimsuit, then your swimsuit should be complete. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you learned something, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more sewing tutorials, please subscribe to this channel. And if you like this pattern and you would like to get it, you can find it linked below in my Etsy shop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video and happy sewing.